I'm going to do a video today on how to install a wick and level it into a center draft kerosene lamp. This is a 1960s, 50s to 60s Turkish made brass oil lamp. It's actually quite a nice lamp. I just ordered a new wick from Miles Stairs Wick Shop, who's a great place to order wicks from. You can make custom sizes for anything that you have. And this is this one's kind of unusual and rare, so he custom made this wick for me. What we have to deal with is we have the wick, we have the wick uh, sleeve or carrier, we have the gallery and burner, and then our lamp. So what we're going to first start off doing is take our wick, I like to crease it that way, just slide up into the carrier, and then straighten it out. Now we'll note that I did make these cuts on the bottom of the sleeve so that as it goes down it can flare out. If, if this is straight down the sides it's going to bunch up. So I just take a razor and just, just cut that that way. I'm going to get this as even as I can and where these little indentions are there's actually little hooks inside there so you want to hook the the wick into those so that it grasps it well. Now I'm going to take the, the burner and we have to line these holes up with the wheels inside the burner so that it can roll up and down. So I'm going to line that up, put the wick inside there, and I want to be able to raise the wick up and down by using the wick adjuster. So it lets me know I got it in the right place and that's engaged. So now we're just going to slide this down. I'm going to tuck the wick in and slide down over the center draft tube. and then twist it until it's in place. And there we have, and we can see that our wick goes up and down. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go outside, we're going to level this wick and get it ready to burn. Alright, we're outside now, and we're getting ready to pre-burn and level this wick, get it ready. And what you're going to need, of course, is, is your lantern. You're going to need a, a knife, you're going to need some lighter fluid, and a lighter. And let me zoom the camera in so we can see what we're going to do. Alright, what our goal here is get this, this wick to be perfectly even, and it's pretty close. And um, we want to get rid of all this, this fraying and everything. So we're going to lower the wick down to its lowest point around the, the, the sleeve here. Some areas can be a little higher and some lower. So find the lowest point, get it even with that. We're going to take our, our lighter fluid, which is always difficult to open, and we're just going to wet this wick. Now there is no kerosene in this lamp. This, this has been dried out for several days. So we wet our wick, and now we're just going to burn it. And we're just going to let that burn the top of the wick. It's going to burn off the fraying. And it will not burn down in between that space where the sleeve and the outside edge of the, the burner is. And hopefully the wind won't put it out too early. But it's going to turn black. And what's above the gallery there, what's above the burner sleeve, is going to just turn to ash. And that's going to allow us to have a perfectly smooth and perfectly level wick. And we're just going to let that burn until it goes out. It may take a minute or so. If you over soak it with the lighter fluid, it'll take a long time. So don't over soak it. You just want it wet. And we're almost out. Looks like we're good. So now I'm just going to take the knife and I'm just going to go around and flake off what is above. And it really didn't leave me much there. So we're pretty, pretty smooth, pretty level across there. So now you can see when I raise the wick up and down how nice and smooth and level and round our wick is. And that is what we wanted to accomplish. Now let's put it all back together. Alright, 
after leveling our wick, we're ready to replace this as our, our flame spreader. And as the air comes up through this center tube, up to the center of flame and feeds the flame, and shapes the flame around this inside the globe. That has to be in place. And then, of course, we need fuel. So I have my vintage Eagle can here. And this has kerosene in it. I like to use either clean heat or crown K1 kerosene because both of those are at 150 degree flash point, which is what these lamps are made for. Some of the newer kerosene's like Clean Strip 1K, you get it at Home Depot and Lowe's, has a 100 degree flash point, can actually be a little hazardous in your lamps because it burns too quickly. So I'm not going to fill that completely. This little spout makes this easy to fill these lamps with. You don't need a foam. So we're going to allow this to soak up into the wick for a good 15 minutes or so. Place our fuel cap, and then we'll come back and we'll light her. Alright, this is sat for about 15 minutes. We're ready to light it. Have our globe. I'm going to raise the wick just barely, just enough to where I can see it good. Try to light my cheap lighter. There's our flame. Set the globe in place. I'm going to give this a warm-up period because we don't want to crack our globe. These flames get really warm. Off our additional light. And there we have a nice bright center draft kerosene lamp.